fairly encouraging start. Uh, Keith Benson Hill, everything went right for him. Um, yeah, I, I was just saying then, I, I think um, without being spectacular, everybody was um, really astute at what, at what they did and, and what they delivered today. So um, for me, probably the most pleasing um, aspect of the result was, was the team performance from, from 1 to 17. Yeah, I mean, I think it was gritty, but not pretty at, at times, especially in the first half. But but the, the point was that you showed a clinical edge when you had the ball and a toughness when you didn't. Yeah, um, we, we knew that was coming. They're prepared to, to kick the ball early and you know, prepared to play, I suppose, rugby chess with you in that, in that respect and, and wait for you to come up with an error and wait for you to break. Um, but, we, you know, we didn't. We, we knew um, if we stuck in there and... and was really physical with our big fellas. It had a knock-on effect, obviously, on their pivots, and I think that that um, comes to fruition for sure. The defensive performance, the, the biggest plus for you. Yeah, contact-wise, I think it was really, really physical, which um, you, you've got to be because they were they were top outfit and you know, get out the blocks quick in regards to Super League. Um, so we, we knew we had to be, and, and like I say, without being spectacular, we was um, on the bottom of the clock. You sat. You know, a few times last year, talked about game smarts. Well, you, you had them today, you could see that. Whether it be taking the one point at an important time or, or, or coming up with the late players, finding touch at the right time, that, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it's funny, I was around about the 60 minute mark, and I think we was I was just, just winning by the two tries. And, um, you know, sat there so many times in that situation last season and come away with nothing. So to see the, the way we um, saw the game out and, and the one point from Mark, obviously. And, um, just the game management, I suppose, was pleasing. Good performance from Mark today with the ball as well. Tardy, yeah, I thought all of, you know, our spine in, in, in particular, Danny Allen was just um, massive for us. Um, you know, I know James Roby was obviously spectacular on um, was it Thursday, Thursday, yeah, Friday evening, sorry. And, um, he's huge for the St. Helens club, but I think Danny's just as important to us as, as, as what he is, and, and that tells you obviously the high regard that we hold him in. Um, Leon and, and Mark complement each other really tidily. You know, Leon's running game and Mark's still kicking game. And then you stick, you know, or Jordan Rankin or James Shaw at the back of that. You've, you've got a, a pretty solid spine, I suppose, and that's pleasing. And Nick, I believe if, if the forwards don't stand up and you drop Fecker and, and you know Chris Green, Josh Bowen and the pressures on them. And, yeah. And, you know. Hundred percent. Yeah. And, and Fecker's been great. You know, he's. he's, he's um, Obviously disappointed not to be playing, but he's got a huge role to play for us this season. And um, you know, as has Jordan Rankin and, and one or two others who missed out as well. So, uh, as a squad, you know, it's a squad result today. And, and you know, when these blokes come in, I'm sure they're going to take the opportunity. Tough making changes, though, isn't it? When you've, you've opened with a, yeah. a win and a nil. Yeah, and, and you know, there's a flip side to that as well. It's nice to come into a successful side, I suppose. So, um, yeah, it is. But um, you know, we'll see what happens. In terms of getting the first win as well, I mean, that, that, that's important. It takes a little bit of pressure off, gives a lot of confidence as well. Going into your first home game, which is a little tough. I think I'm second favourite now to get the sack. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, yeah, that's pleasing. Uh, but it's important going into that first home game and it's going with a Philip. 100%. I thought, um, you know, I, I noticed it on the way down, the amount of cars going past and you know, caked in black and white. and um, I thought our fans was. was Really, really poor cut today, and, and don't underestimate the, the impact that has on the players. And I'm sure Friday night's going to be bouncing um, at the KC Stadium against Warrington, and, and the, you know, game that as a player you always uh, look forward to because they play a lot of rugby, and, and you know, we like to think we do as well. So I'm sure it's going to be a, a, a real thing going. And, and finally, you come out injury wise, I because Sar came off and straight down the tunnel. Yeah, I think more more precautionary than um, you know, any long term. So we'll just have to see. We'll see how they pull up tomorrow. We've obviously got a short turnaround. They've had a 24-hour jump on us in regards to preparing, obviously for Friday night. So we'll we'll patch them up as best as we can and, and get them back out there. Easy with a short turnaround when you're on the back of a window, isn't it? Yeah, and, that, yeah. and flip easy. side, yeah, flip side. It's easy when you, you don't get time to dwell on a loss either. So um, yeah, no, we, we obviously wanted the result, and, and I thought, like you know, true to it, what I said without being spectacular, I thought it was really good seeing how we went about that. There's always a lot of focus on half-backs, especially at all where you've had several come through the door, try, try to be the, the half-back that the club's been waiting for. Mark, Mark doesn't seem to have 
paid much attention to anything. Mark doesn't pay much attention to anything in life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, honestly, he's, he's the most laid-back person I've probably ever come across, and I think that I said when I signed him, having met him for the first time, that I think that'd be a really good thing because the pressure just doesn't seem to get to the block. And, and on the other side of the fence, you know, Leon's been there and done that and, and worn the T-shirt, so I'm hoping his experience um, sort of nullifies that, not expectancy, but pressure um, that so many, you know, before them have crumbled. Mark doesn't even know about the pressure, and Leon, Leon's seen it all before, so it's um, hopefully a good combination. I know one thing he pays attention to, Manchester United. Yeah, very, football. very much so, and his social club, his social club and his, uh, and his football club, he, he massively paying an amount of attention goes to them. He had this big breakthrough year last year, did Mark, but it's important to still remember that he's still learning and he's still developing, he's only 23. Yeah, 100%, and, and there is you know, so much more to come from him, but he, I think he likes his surroundings, he's fortunate inside and out of him, he's got two really physical players in Kirk and, and Gazelle, so... Um, you know, as a half, I can't think of too many other blocks I'd like looking after me either. So hopefully that, that can um, be one of the plus points for us.